growing up, my dad is, was the kind of person who would, if he wanted to hang a picture, would, would, just, would just put it in the wall without even measuring. <laughs> and then if it was in the wrong spot, he would just put the nail up higher and put the picture over it. That's so and that, that's how I hang a right. picture. I mean, it's sort Whereas of my dad was the exact opposite. Really? Yeah, yeah. He was uh, a CPA, so you could imagine everything was very organized. And um, still to this day, when he gets gas, he writes down oh my God. the mileage and the amount of gas he puts in the tank. And my mom, whereas was the opposite, and was like, if it was just she and I in the car, then like we wouldn't do it, and then it would make my dad crazy. But when you hang a picture, <laughs> do you measure if you're going to hang a picture? Do yeah. You? you do? Yeah. yeah so <laughs> and when I meet young people now that say, like, how do I get my career on track? I feel like I made this mistake. I feel like I can genuinely say to them, well, nobody made more mistakes than I did. So if I had to pick a specific thing, I would say, I honestly believe that I should not have gone to college. I really do believe that I, I had an internship at Disney, Imagineering. I was just like a kid that helped out on projects. And the guy that I worked That's for said, awesome. yeah, it was awesome. It was like the movie Big kind of. And the guy I worked for said, you know, you don't, you don't have to go to college if you want. You can come and just work here out, out in Burbank. I didn't quite have the courage of conviction to do bold choices. Everybody I knew was going to college and stuff like that. So There's I wish so that I made even more. Pressure. Yeah, yeah. I wish I made even more non-traditional choices. You know, it's, it's funny. We had this super dynamic woman working for us uh, who had taken some time off of school, um, and we sort of agreed to give her a job under the promise that she would return to school because we didn't want to be the reason why she didn't sort of finish her yeah. college education. And uh, she ended up staying with us, and she's just grown tremendously. I mean, she didn't awesome. go back to school. She she decided not to. Um, yeah, I, I completely agree with that. If you yeah. love you know, innovating in retail and e-commerce like you are, you love media, and you're in a spot where you're learning, you're just going to go to college or business school and come out and look for the same job that you right. were in. And that moment in time, right, that you, it was so serendipitous that you were in that spot in the first place might be gone, right? Like these companies change so rapidly and the opportunities change so quickly. It, it, it's also like if we think about how we hire people, how much time do you spend looking at sort of their time in college. I think that the generation behind us, before us, if you went to an Ivy League school and you came out with your like Harvard or Princeton or right. Yale degree, they were like, oh, what job do you want? You can have any, have any job you want. Now it's kind of like nobody cares. And in fact, when a kid walks in with a Harvard degree, I don't really care. And I'm like, well, what do you know how to do? What are you passionate about? And it's the people that did something on Tumblr or you know, in their spare time at school started right. a midnight pizza delivery service. Like that's the stuff that gets me excited because there's at least something that can be applied. Yeah, and that midnight pizza delivery service more impressive than going to save the world somewhere. Sorry, Joe, we're talking about prosciutto. pizza. Prosciutto delivery. And a pizza and prosciutto delivery. That's did you delicious. always work in this business even when you were a kid? In this business, in this type of business, yes, always in the food business, from when I was young. Always wanted to do it, right? Always wanted to do it, and didn't go to college. Pursued my dream. See, there yeah. you go, right? The American dream is built on blood, sweat, and tears. He'll tear it down and build it back up. Welcome to your new store. Oh my God. The Prophet, all new Tuesdays at 10, only on CNBC.